Hi, my name is Jennifer Coleman and I'm with my colleague Deirdre Ball and we're both employment facilitators in Employability Clare. And today we're going to talk to you about living and working in Ireland and culture there. So we have a short presentation and if you have any questions, feel free to ask us afterwards. So just to tell you what Employability Service does, we're a not-for-profit employment support service. We're throughout 26 counties in Ireland. Uh, we're government funded, so we would work through referrals from case officers in social welfare, who you may be familiar with already, and were established 21 years ago in County Clare. So throughout the County of Clare, there's, there's staff of 10, and we work across the county from North Clare to West, South and East, and Ennis, of course, as well. So you'll see each employment facilitator and you can link in with them directly and meet up. So just to explain or identify what employability service do and how do we support, or who do we support? We support job seekers with a disability and acquired health condition to find work. So this disability could be a physical, intellectual or hearing difficulty that you may have from birth, or you could have an acquired health condition during the course of your life. It could be through trauma, anxiety, mental health, arthritis, diabetes, just to mention a few. Our service is very much tailored to your individual needs and whatever your extra support and disabilities require. And we work with you and the employer to get a job match from that. So I'll let you take over then. Thanks, Jenny. So just working in Ireland, I suppose today was about working in Ireland and culture. And culture is no different than it is from a new country to a new workplace. Um, you just, I suppose we wrote the words research and observe, and that's really how you will figure out um, where your next place of employment will be in Ireland, is to, to do your research and observe. Um, the main thing that we would say to you is it's really important is to read the advert and follow the instructions for application um, and research the business before apl applying. Um, and what we would really advise myself and Jenny is to get a contact name if you can. Yes, you can say sir and madam, and that's fine. But if you have the name of the manager, it really looks a lot better. And as you know from your own country, retail and hospitality can be that type of drop in a CV and that's OK. And but always be ready to be interviewed because managers are quite busy. And if they're there, they might just give you an interview on the spot. But if it's other sectors where it's saying on the advert to apply through email, cover letter, online application, please follow the instructions carefully because that will get you to the next stage of the recruitment process. So how can we help you? Well, obviously you've come from your own country and you were working in whatever sector you were there. So you're gonna have a CV and maybe you do need a bit more help with your CV and some applications. But where myself and Jenny feel we will be of best support to you will be around the interview preparation and the local employer knowledge. We know a lot of employers in County Clare and maybe we can link you with them or maybe tell you a bit more about their business before you apply. Um, also, there's links to the services such as the social welfare, which Jenny has mentioned, and you're probably in contact with them already. Education, um, volunteering and then support groups. So I suppose the windows to work, this is one of our marketing um, PDFs. And basically this is the different ways we can help you. So maybe you're anxious about going into your a new place of work. Then maybe we can look at the workplace visit for you where we will arrange a visit in a certain business so that you can actually see exactly what they do. Or we could look at a work trial where you could go in maybe and the employer let you go in for an hour or two and see, <coughs> excuse me, or otherwise it could be a job shadow. So an employee, so let's say in my job, maybe you could shadow me for a couple of hours and see how I do my job. That's another really great way of knowing how people work. Um, and then obviously we have mentoring and we've work experience, but also there might be a need around adaptive equipment. Let's say you had a physical disability there is a workplace equipment adaptation grant um, where you might need certain equipment to do your job. We can maybe talk to you about that grant and how to apply. So we can help in different ways. So I suppose culture, no more than your own. 
um, you can see that the colours of our flag is very similar, is similar to your um, your flag at home. Um, we put the tea there because that's basically, we, we're always drinking tea and we have great chats over tea. So you may have noticed you're asked, do you want a cup of tea? Quite a lot here. Um, the phone is, it's a funny thing really, but it's only, as Jenny will confirm, it's only a clear thing that um, when we say bye, we say it a few times. So it's like, bye, 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 bye. So you're probably hearing that quite a bit. And also the rain, the rain in Ireland um, is, there's a lot of rain. So weather tends to be a good conversation. So you won't mm -hmm. go wrong if you have tea, you know a bit about our sports and the weather. Um, so I suppose that's all for today. Um, this is our contact details. Myself and Jenny would absolutely be delighted to meet up with any of you. Um, Jenny, you're based in North Clare. Yeah. So that would make maybe a bit more sense for Jenny to meet up with you. But maybe um, if you're in Ennis, um, our office is just in Elevation Business Park. Um, so it's kind of in Ennis Town Centre. Um, so if any of you wanted to make contact with those, a confidential chat, um, we're very open to that. So um, thank you very much for letting us um, speak today um, in this workshop.